this is really an exciting opportunity to hear from the source really where social media and this pandemic has really affected teenage mental health as well as the way that we're talking about it in school settings and beyond, hopefully. My name's George. I'm a 12th grader at School Academy in Boca Raton. I'm Dorothea. <laughs> I'm a senior at St. Andrews in Boca as well. My name is Dalen. Um, I'm a junior at Oxbridge. My name's Gracie. I'm a freshman at Oxbridge. My name is Finley. Um, I'm a freshman at the Benjamin School. This one is about what you wish adults knew about teen mental health. Teens, we're very capable people. Um, I don't think all adults know that, though. I don't think they all know that we're very capable. We're, we're empathetic. We're sympathetic. We understand things to a greater extent than most adults would care to accept that we do. It's okay to not be okay. I don't think all adults know that. One thing that I kind of wish that adults tried to understand more is like social anxiety, like especially in school. Because like you can say like, like I have stage fright, like I get nervous a lot, but like they only understand that to an extent. So when you're like, I don't feel comfortable talking in front of the class, they think that it's just a matter of being pushed a little more, but like, it's like a much bigger deal to me or other people. And I think it's important for adults to just listen to us and know that while they might think that they know more, we also have to listen to our own bodies and listen to ourselves. You can work with nonprofits like the Jed Foundation to get those resources that will teach you how to talk to your students, talk to your your niece, your nephew, your son, your daughter, your child um, who's struggling, um, or maybe they're not, but it can give you some resources if maybe they have a friend that's struggling. And at this point where we are with the technology that we have, it's so different than any generation has ever gone through before. And that makes Gen Z and Gen Alpha so unique is because we also have so much information thrown at us every single day. Do any of you have any personal experiences with your friends or family um, with mental health issues? Middle school in general was tough for me. I was a trigger warning, I was suicidal, um, and I had some bad moments and I ended up going to a uh, outpatient treatment center in New York during my eighth grade year. And then, um, I went to another outpatient treatment center again in my freshman year. And then a few years later, I was finally diagnosed with a mood disorder, bipolar type two. And uh, that kind of solved, it didn't solve the issue, but it kind of helped a lot to figure out what was actually going on with me because it's very hard to diagnose at a young age. So figuring out what I actually, like what, what I had was a big step in the right direction for me. I became very like anxious. I would wake up every single morning with a stomach ache and like, it was really bad and I would always like eat like I would never stop eating and all the time and it came to the point where like before I went to bed I would throw up because I would just like be so anxious and I didn't know how else to deal with it because I didn't talk to anyone about it um my mom took me to get tested to see if I had anxiety and they said I had anxiety and that I should probably go to a therapist for it and so I finally got to go to therapy for it but my anxiety didn't really get any better. And especially when COVID hit, it made it so much worse. Every single time before I would go to bed, I would always throw up because I was so nervous about going back to school and having to deal with the anxiety of getting good grades and being like perfect grades. Like, cause that's when they started talking about how my grades started mattering about high school. And I thought I was not gonna get into high school. I'm usually the guy that people usually go to talk to about what they're having problems with if it's with relationships or with friendships or if it's something with family like I, I'm pretty open about like what I've been through like I haven't really talked about it as much as here like I know my friends now from preschool which is pretty funny it was kind of like a full circle moment um but they know what I've been through and I've talked about it extensively with them and they've talked about it vice versa with me and um I feel like I'm very open to talking to my friends about practically whatever it is, and probably more open than I am talking to parents or guidance counselors about it. Thank you all so, so much for sharing tonight and being so vulnerable and open. Mm -hmm.